This might be the best upscaling tool we've ever seen. This is a free uncensored alternative to Runway Act 2, and it can also bring images to life and make them talk, with many people saying that it rivals VO3. I'm also putting some new insane tools to the test and letting you know what's legit and what's not. Without further ado, let's take a look. So first up, we have Moon Valley with its new video gen tool called Mary. Let's take a look. The new AI video tool gives you control over every part of the shot in a way that we've never seen before. Meet Mari by Moon Valley. Now, unlike other AI video generators that allow you to type a prompt or upload an image and they'll give you back a video, Mari takes things a step further because now you have full control over the camera using their 3D camera positioning system, which means you can move around your subject to get the perfect shot. But it's not just the camera that you can control. You can also direct the subject of the video by having the AI move them around the scene exactly how you want. Now where it gets really crazy is you can also upload a reference video and the AI will create a completely new video that matches the performance and the motion exactly. But the best part is Mari was only trained on licensed high resolution footage, meaning there's no legal or copyright issues you have to worry about when your video is generated. Tools like this are shaping the future of video. And okay, so now jumping into Moon Valley right here. So kind of the main hype is all about this feature right here called Animate Camera and this one right here here called trajectory control. So let's go ahead and try this animate camera. We're gonna start from image. And here I have some images of Kira. So I'll go ahead and select this one right here. Now we can come here to direct camera motion. And so here for anybody who's familiar with using keyframes in any sort of editor, that's kind of how this works. You basically just set the keyframe and then you can kind of move along the timeline right here. And then at this point, you can sort of move the image around to tell it exactly what you want it to do. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera to, you know, maybe something like that. And then I'll come a little bit further in the timeline here and we'll zoom in even more. And I'm just gonna make it so we, so it kind of goes to the side like so, maybe something like this, so we can kind of theoretically see her looking off into the distance, maybe something like that. And then I can of course adjust these keyframes. So I'll pull that one there, maybe switch this one to right here. And now with my keyframes set, the camera should theoretically move just like that. So I'll go ahead and click render. And now for the prompt, I just put a woman stands on the beach and looks into the distance in deep contemplation. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, so after waiting for that, looks like we got censored. And so there you go. Good to know for those of you that are using AI influencers, you can go ahead and save your money on this tool. But just for the sake of testing, let's go ahead and try a different image here. Here I'm in vidbuzz.io. I have a full demonstration on this tool. If you wanna check this one out, you can check that down in the description. This is what I use for all of my images and prompts and stuff like that. In this case, I'm going to create a tennis girl. Tennis Girl usually does not get censored for whatever reason, so I'm gonna generate a prompt based off of the Tennis Girl and select my character, Kira. Now I'll come down here to generate and we should uh, get Kira as a Tennis Girl. Okay, cool, so now we have a few images of Kira as a Tennis Girl. Maybe we'll choose this one right here. Actually, just to make sure we don't get censored again, I'm gonna say change the character to a man. I can't spell, but hopefully it knows what I mean. So now it's going to regenerate the prompt, changing the character to a man. And I'll just go ahead and switch to myself now. We'll generate this again. It's probably gonna put me in a white tennis dress, but we'll see. Okay, so here I am as the tennis man. Good enough, we'll go ahead with this image. So I'll download that. And now coming back into Moon Valley, we have our new image in here. All right, and so after setting the keyframes, I kind of have a similar shot as before where it kind of just zooms in and then goes to the side like this. And for the prompt, I'm just saying a man tosses a tennis ball into the air and hits it. Let's see if this one works. Okay, after waiting for that, here's what we ended up with. And we're not really seeing the camera motion. There's a lot of weird stuff going on here and this is definitely not usable. <laughs> I also tried this other one with Kira right here where it was supposed to orbit around her. And it's a pretty nice little clip of Kira, but again, it really just didn't follow the camera motion at all. So I like the concept, it's a neat idea, but I think they need more time to iron this out. So now let's try the trajectory control. For this one, I just put a flying saucer above a mountain. Clicking this button will enhance the prompt a little bit. And now I can just click this button to generate. All right, and here we go. We've got a flying saucer above a mountain. I'll download that. 
So now with this feature, I can basically click on the flying saucer and then tell it where to go. So clicking here sets the first keyframe. And then similar to before, I can kind of just move along the timeline here. So I'll go to maybe right here and I'll tell the flying saucer to go to here. I'll continue along the timeline, tell it to go here and continue even more and have it go all the way to over there. And here I'm just saying a flying saucer hovers around a mountain. Let's see what that does. And here is our end result. So we are kind of getting the motion that I put in there, I guess. I'm not really sure where these power lines are kind of just sprouting out of nowhere. So overall, I don't think I'll be adding this into my workflow anytime soon. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. For those of you that are using Moon Valley, let us know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Next up, FreePick has a new interesting extend video feature. Let's check it out. FreePick just dropped a new tool that extends your videos like magic, and it's a total game changer. It's called Video Extender, and it automatically extends your clip, adding smooth motion, cinematic detail, and seamless transitions. Just upload your video, choose how long you want it, and let the AI handle the rest. Everything runs right in your browser, and your high quality quality extended video is ready in seconds. Perfect for reels, ads, fashion edits, or product promos. Okay, that seems pretty cool in theory. Let's try it out. So here I have a clip of Kira. She's running through this battle scene in like uh, ancient Sparta with Romans and Persians fighting each other and stuff like that. Now, Kling does have an extend clip feature right here. However, it doesn't actually work on Kling 2.1. So as we can see on this clip, that feature is not available. So normally the way I would do this is bring the clip here into Premiere Pro, and then I would come to the end of the clip right here, and down here I can click this little button to export that frame. And so now in order to extend the clip, I'm gonna bring this image into Kling AI to use this as the starting image. All right, so after waiting for that, here is the second half of this clip, and looks pretty good, it's a great continuation. So I'll go ahead and download this one as well. And so now bringing the second half of this clip into Premiere Pro, Let's watch this transition here. And so there we go. It's a pretty seamless and perfect transition in my opinion. So now let's give this a try here in free pick. I'm gonna to come to the video extend. I'll bring in our video clip here and I'm gonna paste in the same exact prompt that I used on Kling. We'll set the extension to an additional seven seconds and let's see what happens. Okay, so here's our finished clip inside of Free Pick, and so she's gonna run through this little section right here. And here's where the transition's right there. Now you can see there's a noticeable difference of the video quality. It starts to get a little bit blurry after the transition. And then right around this section, there's even some kind of like random cut into a completely new uh, scene over here. So I'm not really sure what that's about. And so again, coming back to the original transition right here, you can see right there is where it goes to the new scene. Now it doesn't do a terrible job there. So I'm sure this could work decently if you have a scene that's maybe less chaotic. But overall, I don't really see any huge advantages to doing this over the previous method, which had way better results. Next up, Runway Act 2 is pretty wild. Check this out. And so... You find yourself here on the Creator Secrets YouTube channel without contributing a single like or follow. For this, you die. Ah, <laughs> I kid, I kid. But really, follow the channel. All right, so the way that I got that is I found this uh, picture of this guy right here. So I took a screenshot, dropped that into VidBuzz to generate a prompt off it, and started generating some of these images. And so after doing that, I ended up with this image right here. And then after doing that, I recorded this little clip of myself right here. And so you find your... Right, so I have that. And so now coming into Runway Act 2, I'm gonna drop that little video clip here on the top and then bring our character here on the bottom and then just click generate. And so after waiting for that, here's what we got. And so you find yourself here on the Creator Secrets YouTube channel without contributing a single like or follow. 
So Runway does an amazingly good job with this. Obviously, it comes down to your ability to act out a scene will determine how good it actually comes out. I'm no actor by any stretch, but for those of you that are, you could get really good results with this. Now, the last thing here is obviously we have to change the voice. So in order to do that, I'm gonna come over to 11 Labs. We'll go to Create a Voice, Voice Design. And by default, it already has kind of what I'm going for, a deep booming male voice of a massive evil ogre in his middle years, thick gravelly tone, blah, blah. So I'll go ahead and generate the voice. Your weapons have got toothpicks to me. <laughs> so that sounds pretty good. I'll select that voice. We'll call it Ogre. And now I'll have this voice that I can use forever forward after this. So now all I have to do is come to the voice changer and I'm just gonna drop in this original video clip right here. So I'll just drag that there, select my new Ogre and come down to generate speech. And so you find yourself here on the Creator Secrets YouTube channel. And so all I have to do is download the audio clip and then replace the audio from the other video clip. And so. You find yourself here on the Creator Secrets YouTube channel without contributing a single like or follow. For this, you die. Ah, <laughs> I kid, I kid. But really, follow the channel. Okay, now I also wanted to see how Act 2 would handle a moving background, so I created this little uh, clip right here. Okay, so quick test, runway Act 4. I'm out here on my electric skateboard. We're going to try to see if... Obviously meant to say act two right there, but here is the output here. Okay, so quick test, runway act four. I'm out here on my electric skateboard. We're gonna try to see if Kira can take over right. So I was hoping to see Kira just zooming along the beach, but obviously that is not the case. So there is some limitations in terms of the background. But overall, I am highly impressed with Runway Act 2. I think this can be incredibly useful for a lot of different use cases. Moving on to Magnific, they're doing something cool. Let's take a look. So Magnific is putting out this update called Precision, which is supposed to keep the character's consistency while getting the insane results that Magnific offers. For those of you that are not familiar with Magnific, this is actually one of the OG upscaling tools that, in my opinion, offers the best results hands down, particularly with images like this where it doesn't necessarily have to be a super consistent character Magnific is going to upscale and bring a lot of realism and detail to the image. Now, the reason I stopped using Magnific is because if you have a very specific character that needs to retain consistency, particularly if that image is relatively low resolution, Magnific will transform that character into somebody that looks completely different. However, if this new update works as well as they are showing here and it's able to retain character consistency, then I will with Without question, go back to using Magnific because I have always really loved the results from Magnific. At the time of this video, this update is not available yet outside of the beta testers, but of course I will be testing this as soon as it becomes available. So now let's talk about this new 100% free and uncensored video model that rivals VO3. Honestly, saying that it rivals VO3 is a bit generous because here's the same exact clip running it through VO3. So now let's talk about this new 100% free and uncensored video model that rivals VO3. As we can see, that second clip looks way better and far more realistic. But with that said, there are some huge limitations with VO3, one being you don't really have a whole lot of control over the voice. However, with this free alternative, you can actually upload any audio file that you want and it will create the video and sync the voice at the same time. Additionally, this functions very similar to Runway Act 2. You can put in a reference video and it will take your motion and your speaking and it will apply that to any character that you want. The model is called Vase Multi-Talk Fusion IX 14B, and it's actually built on top of WAN 2.1. Now the thing is, if you have enough patience to dial in and play around with the settings, you can get some really amazing results. Check out this one for example. Are haircuts for poor people? From the people who don't really know how to cut hair yet. Uh, yes, that's not true. This is the Tristan Evans salon. I'm sure that everyone that's enrolled here is a genius. Today we're looking at something really cutting edge in AI video. It's about making multiple people talk and interact in a video, realistically, uh, just based on their audio. Right, we're digging into a research paper that introduces this new framework. Considering you can get results like that using a tool that is completely 100% free and uncensored is pretty incredible. And so the easiest way to install this is to come over here to Pinocchio, 
And for those of you that don't know, Pinocchio is basically a free platform that allows you to run all kinds of free open source AI tools. So first you want to come here and download Pinocchio. And then after downloading Pinocchio itself, you'll want to come back to this page and you'll want to download and install WAN 2.1. So you'll simply come to this page and click this button to install WAN 2.1. Again, in order for this to work, you have to first install Pinocchio. After you've installed it into Pinocchio, it should look something like this. Obviously, I have a few different tools here, but you'll see one called WAN 2.1. You're just going to want to click that. In your case, you might not see anything here. So on the left hand side, you'll want to click the button that says start or run. And that could take some time for it to actually install. But eventually it will pop open an interface that looks like this. Now, once you have this installed, you're going to have access to a ton of these different models that are built on top of WAN 2.1. So in this case, you'll want to come down and find the one that says Vase Multitalk Fusion IX 14B. And just like that, you will then have access to start using this tool. Now, just for reference, I'm using a computer that has 16 gigs of VRAM, and it generally takes about 10 or 15 minutes for me to produce a video that's roughly 7 to 10 seconds long. So from here, I can click this little section to put in my reference image if I'm trying to animate an image and make it talk or do whatever I want. Or if I'm trying to use a similar type of runway feature, then I can use this as the video input and then it will go ahead and function similar to Runway Act 2. So for me personally, this is not something that I would use for my own content workflows just because for me, I prioritize speed and quality. But if you are looking for a free alternative that is able to produce some decent results, then this can be a really good option. Speaking of speed and quality, VidBuzz actually just got a major update. For those of you that don't know, VidBuzz is basically a tool that will show all of the most viral AI content on the internet, both on Instagram and TikTok. Right now we're filtered for Instagram last seven days. And so this is gonna show us the highest trending AI videos over the last seven days. But we can also go into specific AI niche categories. And so these are all of the most viral AI niche categories. Just for fun, I'm gonna jump into the concept art uh, category right here. And now we can see all of the most trending videos in the concept art category. Let's take a look at this one here. Right, so Disney princesses as mafia bosses. So this video is super viral and let's say I wanted to create something kind of similar to this. I'm going to take a screenshot and then coming down to the icon right here, I'm just gonna paste that screenshot into my media library. And now from here, I'm gonna click this little paintbrush button. So this brings us into the AI canvas and now I can start creating a new image. So I'm gonna click open the media library. I'm gonna select that screenshot that I just added into this. And now I'll come right here and generate a prompt based off of that image. So now we have our prompt here. And here I can choose the aspect ratio. I'll choose nine by 16. And we'll just go ahead and switch this to image in four. And now I can generate the image by clicking this little button right here. And now as we can see, it generated a image based off of that. And here's what we ended up with. But let's say that I wanted my AI influencer to be wearing this outfit. So I'm just gonna go to character mode and I'm gonna switch this to my AI influencer, Kira. And now I just have to click the button again. Just like that, we have Kira in a very similar outfit in a very similar scene and setting right here. So now I need to change this into a video. I'm gonna hover over this image, click the little check mark, and now we can see this is set as the new active image. All I have to do now is come over to video mode and we'll go ahead and put this on Kling Pro 2.1. And then coming down here, I can specify what I want to happen. So all I did was say, make it so the woman is walking towards the camera. It's a handheld tracking shot. The owl flies out of frame. I'll click the button and now it's going to generate a video prompt. Okay, so now it's went ahead and generated the video prompt here. And so after waiting for that, here is what we ended up with. And as we can see, she's walking towards the camera, the owl flies away. I'd say it did a pretty good job. So again, this is basically what I use to track and find and discover all of the most viral videos on the internet and then be able to instantly and easily reproduce those videos, generate prompts, create the images, turn the images into videos and be able to complete that entire workflow without using multiple tools with multiple subscriptions. I have a full demo on VidBuzz down in the description below if you want to check that out. Which by the way, if you have more nuanced questions about any of this stuff, Scotty offers live Q and A calls in the Creator Secrets community on school. He shows everything from creating AI influencers like myself to content automation and professional monetization so you can maximize your earnings. He also covers the best AI niche categories and the best tools to create anything you can imagine. 
along with all the prompt resources and workloads for professional AI filmmaking. The link for this will be down in the description below.